Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make one of these cute tiny beaded lemons using size 11 seed beads. There's already a video on my channel for how to make one using size 8 seed beads if you want to check that out. Today I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get started. So to make a lemon you need size 11 seed beads in yellow and green for the leaf. You also need your beading thread, I'm using Fireline, and I cut about 30 inches. And your scissors and your beading needle. So you want to begin by picking up three of your yellow beads and slide those down. And then you're going to sew up through the first bead that you added to make a triangle. Now you're going to be putting one bead in between those three. So pick up one bead, coming out of this one, go straight into that next bead in the triangle. Pick up another bead and do the same thing, go straight into the next bead in the triangle. And the last one, do the same thing again. So you're going to go, coming out of this one, you're going to go into this one here and also step up into that one above so you're ready to add the next row. So now you're going to pick up another bead, you're going to skip over one and go into the next one on the corner. And do the same again, pick up a bead skip over the one in the middle and go through the next one on the corner. And again, one more time, you're going to come out of this one, skip that one in the middle, go into the next one. Pull it really tight. And then because it's the end of the row, you need to step up into the next bead above the one that you're coming out of just this one so that you're ready to start the next row. So now you have this. So this time you're going to pick up two beads each time. So you pick up your first two beads and you're coming out of this one, you're going to skip that one in the middle and go through the next one. And you're going to do that two more times. So you pick up two beads. Coming out of this one, skip over that one underneath and go through the next one. And again, pick up two beads. Skip the one in the middle, go through the next one and also up into that bead above. So you're ready to add the next row. So for this row we're going to be putting a bead in between those groups of two that we just added and also in the gaps between those as well. So pick up your first bead and as you're coming out of this one you're going to go straight down into that one right next to it. And then pick up another bead. This time you're going to skip one underneath and go through the next one. So now again pick up another bead and this time you're between a group of two again so you're just going to go straight down into the bead next to the one you're coming out of. Pick up another bead, so now we need to fill that gap. So we're coming out here, we're going to skip the one underneath and go through the next one. And you're going to pick up, pick up one more bead, you're coming out of this one. So you're going to go straight down into the one next to it. And pick up your last bead of the row. So you're coming out of this one, skip the one underneath, go through the next one as always, and also up into the one above so you're ready to start the next row. So you should have this. So now you're going to pick up one bead again. Coming out of this one, you're going to skip that one underneath, go through the next one, which is on the top row. So 
same again, pick up one, skip over one, and go through the next one on the top row. And again, pick up one, skip over the one underneath and go through the next one on the top row. And again, you're going to keep doing that all the way around. So pick up one, skip over one and go through the next one. So keep doing that until you get to the last bead. So now for the last bead in the row, you're going to do the same again. So skip the one underneath and go through the next one and also up into the one above like that. So then you've got this. So now we're going to be picking up two beads each time. So pick up your first two, skip the un one underneath and go through the next one on the top row. And do the same again, pick up two and go through the next bead on the top row. And again, same thing, pick up two and go through the next bead on the top row. And you're going to keep doing that all the way around until you get to the last one again. So when you get to the last um, beads of the row, pick up your last two, do the same again. So skip the one underneath. So skip that one underneath and go through the next one as always. And then also through the next two above that so that you've stepped up ready to start the next row. and then pull it really tight and you should have this. Now for this row we're going to be treating those groups of two that we just added as if they were one bead and going through them together. So pick up one bead and you're coming out of this group of two, you're going to skip that single bead underneath and go through the next two on the top row. And do the same again, so pick up one bead Coming out of these two, skip the one underneath to go through the next two beads, like that. Same again, pick up one, go through the next two on the top row. And again, you're going to do that all the way around until you get to the last bead of the row. So you add the last bead of the row in the same way, so skip the one underneath, go through the next two beads again, and also the one above that, so the first one we added in this row. You'll go through three beads in total. That way you're ready to add your next row. Pull it really tight as always, and this is what you should have. So now we're going to be adding two beads again. So pick up two beads and you're coming out of this one, you're going to skip those two underneath and go through the next single bead on the top row. And pull it down and those two beads should stack on top of the two underneath. So again, pick up your next two beads and skip the two underneath and go through the next single bead. And you're going to do that again up two beads, skip over two and go through the next single bead. And you're going to keep doing that all the way around as always. So pick up two, skip over two, go through the next one. Then when you come to add your last two, do the same again. So skip over two, go through the next single bead and also up through the next two at the same time. Pull it really tight and you should have this. So like we did last time we're going to treat these groups of two again as if they were one bead. So you're going to pick up one bead and coming out of these two skip one underneath and go through the next group of two on the top row. Go through both those beads like that. And pick up another bead and do the same again. Skip one underneath and go through the next two beads on the top row. And again, pick up one bead, skip over the one underneath and go through the next two. And you're going to do that all the way around again until you get to the last bead in the row.
So when you get to the last bead, do the same again. So skip one, go through the following two beads, and then if you can at the same time, step up into that single bead above. So you're going through those three beads there. And then give it a really good pull tight as always. And you should have this. Now we're going to be picking up single bead and close starting to close it in. So we're going to be going through those single beads in the top row. So skip over two and go through the next single bead. Same again, pick up one. Skip over the two underneath and go through that next bead on the top row. Same again, pick up one bead, skip two, go through the next single bead. And you're going to do that all the way around as always until you get to the end of the row. So for the last bead, do the same again. So skip over the two, go through the following bead, but this time, as always, you're going to step up into the bead above. So you're in position to start the next row. Pull it really tight, and it should look like this. So now we're picking up single beads again. So this time you're going to pick up a bead, you're going to skip the next one, go through the one after that. So regular peyote stitch. So pick up a bead, skip over one, go through the following bead. Pick up one bead, skip the next one, go through the one after that. Pick up one bead, skip the next one and go through the bead after that. And keep doing that again all the way around until you get to the last bead. So then when you're doing your last bead, do the same again. So skip the one underneath, go through the one after that, and also step up into the bead above. And pull it really tight. Now you should have this. So now we're going to close it up even further. So this time pick up one bead, do the same thing again, skip over one, go through the next bead. It's getting a little bit tighter here. So you have to really keep track of which bead you're going through, which beads are on the top row. Now, without picking up another bead, you're going to do the same again. You're going to skip that next bead underneath and go through the one after that that's on the top row without picking up a bead. And that means that that little bridge of thread, when you pull it tight, is going to close those two beads together and bring your piece even smaller. This time we're picking up a bead skip the one underneath, go through the next bead in the top circle. And then again, without picking up a bead, skip the one underneath and go through the next one. You're alternating picking up a bead and not picking up a bead. So this time you're picking up a bead, skipping the one underneath and going through the following bead. And finally, without picking up a bead, skip the one underneath, go through the next one and step up into that bead above the first one we added in this row. And then when you pull it tight, all those bridges of thread will close up. So now we're back to working with three beads like we were in the beginning. This time you're going to pick up one bead, coming out of that one you're going to go into the next one in that little triangle of beads which are on the top. Pick up another bead, go into the next one in that top row. Pick up your last bead and go into the final bead that's in that triangle in the top row and through the one after that so that you've stepped up. Pull it really tight and you should have this. Pick up one yellow bead and go into the next bead in that triangle that are on the top row. It will be easier to see on your piece which beads you need to go through. And then do the same again two more times. And that's the final one, so we go through that last bead in the triangle and then up into the one I just added at the start of this row. Now we've got those three beads that sit in a triangle on the top and I'm just going to circle through those to bring them together. 
pull it tight and you should have this. So this is the lemon shake finished. So to make your leaf, you're going to pick up nine green beads. And you're coming out of this one here, you're going to go up into this one that's right next to it in that top triangle of beads. You should have this. Now you're going to go across that next yellow bead and the top row. And back down through that next yellow bead and through four of the green beads. The first four. Now you're going to skip the fifth bead, don't go through that, and go back up through the last four green beads. But not that yellow bead like I did. You just want to go up through the four green beads like that. Pull it tight and that fifth bead at the bottom will just pop out and make more of a pointed leaf shape. So now I'm going to pick up another green bead. And I'm coming out the top of this side, I'm going to go down through the four green beads on the other side. Like that. So that bead just closes up the top of the leaf and this time I'm going to go through that fifth bead on the bottom. And now you're just going to anchor it in place where you want it to sit so it's completely up to you. So lay your leaf down flat on your lemon where you want it to stay. And you're just going to find a yellow bead that's right underneath that or two, go through them and back into the green bead on the other side. That's just going to circle it to the beads on the lemon and hold it in place so you can do that wherever you want it to sit. And then I'm going to sew back up through the green beads and into the yellow bead on the top. And I'm just going to add one more bead just to finish it off. So I'm going to pick up a green bead. So I'm coming out of the yellow one there in that direction. I'm going to go through that one that sits right next to it in the same direction. So that last green bead just sits on the top and just kind of finishes it off. And that's where I'd add a loop of beads or add my earring hook or jump ring um, if that's what you wanted to do. But I'm going to show you how I tie my knots. So I'm just going to sew down through the piece a little bit so that it's easier to see away from the leaf on the side. So I'm going to sew through a few and also you can do this to strengthen your piece and make it feel more secure as well. And then when you come to tie your knots, you need to take your, th your needle under one of these bridges of thread right near the bead you're coming out of. Pull it down till you have a small loop and go through that loop two times. Pull that down tight till you feel the knot tighten and then pass through a few beads. And then you're going to go ahead and tie as many knots as you can to make it super secure and always move away from your knot before you cut your thread so it doesn't unravel. And do the same with your tail thread as well. So that's our finished lemon, so I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Ooh. <laughs> um, I hope you're able to make one of these. And like I said, I've got another video on my channel for a lemon that's slightly different shape and it uses bigger seed beads. So if you want to check that out, that's on my channel. I think it's one of my early videos, so you may have to scroll down quite a bit to find it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. If you want to see more of my videos and comment down below what else you'd like to see from me. And follow me on Instagram at beadingbyhannah so you can see what else I get up to over there. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and please share any pictures of these lemons if you manage to make one with me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!